Yeah, if you're seeing char characteristics, I can build something with this woman, yeah. then yeah, shoot your shot by all means. But if this is just, man, she looking good in them jeans, man, sit down somewhere. Right? Yeah. You're butt naked in the bed with your husband. <laughs> right? And that's when you, yes. that's when you got them, ladies. I agree. You're right. I agree. <laughs> yes. I can't believe I just <laughs> gave that secret away, but there it is. Yeah. One day I was overhearing a conversation that my, my stepdad was having with my mom and he was saying like if you would have allowed me to step in and correct him and discipline him, he wouldn't have gone down the path that he went. What the church won't say. What's up everybody? Welcome to What the Church Won't Say. Where we have difficult conversations at the foot of the cross. Where? at the foot of the cross and today's conversation will be with our beautiful viewers where we get the opportunity to answer you guys questions yes so without further ado let's get to it our first question is called friend zone to end zone Dang. and this is an anonymous <laughs> viewer and our our viewer says i have a female friend that i've known and been close to since high school lately i've been seeing her in a different light and i'm finding myself becoming extremely attracted to her should I shoot my shot? And if so, how? Why haven't you shot your shot already? Why is it taking you this long? Maybe That's what I want to know. Maybe he's a slow cooker. Okay. Yeah. In you know? no way, I don't think any of us here is going to advise him to not shoot his shot. <sighs> this is a difficult situation. Really? So yeah. you're, you might advise well, him to my question is this. stay in the friend zone? How did you get to the friend zone? I want to know a little bit more about that. What does you're, that matter? It does matter. It matters because if you was put in the friend zone because of her and you tried to shoot your shot before and she shot you down. Mm -hmm. Now I'm wondering, has anything changed from her perspective? Has she's given you the green light? Has yeah. she shown interest outside of being your friend? That's the reason why I say it depends. Yeah. It matters. Good point. How did you? Because yeah, you don't want to shoot it again. Right. I mean, you don't want to shoot it prematurely. Obviously, you've been waiting in the bushes, waiting mm -hmm. on this moment, possibly. But then again, he said his perspective yeah. changed. I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. Like, um, I'm gonna be more cavalier with this and say, you know what? Just shoot it, man. Because cavalier. You. I it's think. The shirt. It's I the think. Shirt. <laughs> I think you're going to be wasting your time or you're going to be waiting for something that might never happen and you might be making up um storylines in your head and like oh you know this is how it's gonna play out like you know what just get it out man yeah just tell her hey you know what i'm really attracted to you i've been your friend because you know i've been waiting for an opportunity and wow uh, freaking like, creep yeah no like no that just be honest and you know just i i like you yeah and and if she says you know what i just see you as a friend just get out of there brother have some dignity you know what i'm saying mm. and and get out of there there are plenty of women out there that you know might find you attractive obviously so, not because he would probably be with one at this point well, in time I mean, and not, or, not salivating at his close friend okay well th this is the thing i mean you know he might have a, scar a scarcity mentality and might be afraid to not look outside of, of his circle but you know just just say it man say it because if not one day this might happen you know she might come with a dude you know and like hey i like to introduce you to my friend and like come on man let I me say know. this I, I get what you're saying yeah I, I, I get what you're saying. I, I do want to say this. It's, it's, it's a lot going on here. Yes. Because he didn't say in the question, and it don't mean he don't feel this way, but he hadn't said, man, I think she'll be wife material. Man, true, she got all true, this character. True, true. Man, and what I'm saying is he may be flushing years of friendship out of lust. Because all he said true. is, I've been finding her attractive. Yes. I don't know if that's enough to go on to actually flush a relationship since high school. I don't know how old they are, mm -hmm. you know. So my thing is, I would say, why don't you pray about this? Why don't yeah. you consider, is this a wife that you're looking at? You seeing a wife material or are you just saying, man, I'm, I'm finding her attractive. That's yeah. different. I don't think you should flush a relationship, a friendship that long based off just your i'll find her yeah, because the man can't handle being in that friendship yeah you and know? that's that's the thing then you, you know, need like, to go like i agree with him you need to go ahead and shoot your shot yeah. and get out of there mm. well but because i don't find a benefit and you know in, in having a female friend because like you say flush it down the drain it's like flush what i'm not really but obviously it's working for them 
You know what I mean? Obviously, at this uh, point, it's working it's for her. It's working for it. You know, I don't see it working for him because he's that being tortured. True. He's that being tortured. True, I mean, but he said recently he's seeing her this way. So yeah. I, they don't seem like this has been an ongoing struggle unless there's more struggle than what he's telling us yeah. on. I agree with you. I personally don't do the female friend thing. It doesn't yeah. work out typically. Uh -huh. yes. But it seemed to be working on some level for them. He just has to consider that. Is this just a lust thing? I'm just finding her. I'm seeing her more attractive. Well, right. there's something like he could really build on. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? That's to me in my mind. If you yeah. got, if you see in char characteristics, I can build something with this woman. Yeah. Then yeah, shoot your shot by all means. But if this is just man, she looking good in them jeans. Man, sit down somewhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> valid point. Valid point. But but I'm gonna say this though. Despite of that, if if the attraction is just there. Right. and continues to be there it's gonna grow i'm gonna say you know what man you you really need to do something about it because it, it's gonna be a torture like it's not it's not gonna go anywhere and also it's gonna cloud your judgment it's gonna cloud your vision on the decisions that you make on this friendship you, could. you know and it, it's gonna put you in a vulnerable position Honest. But let's be honest as men. Okay, let's yeah. have, let's just talk for a moment as men. Yes, we know that masturbation and pornography is running rampant in the U.S. Of course, what? Yes, <laughs> but but as you know, as a man, lust can come in waves. Yes, yes, it, it does. comes all of a sudden, especially during the summer months. It just hits you hard. Yes, yes. And then it may taper off at some point. Then it comes back. Yes. And so my point is, if you're making a decision off a wave of lust, because he says recently, mm -hmm. then it's empty anyway. And yeah. you just need to learn some self control well, but, and control. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, that's that's why I said yeah. if the attraction does not diminish, yeah, if it doesn't diminish, if it continues to increase for some reason, and it's been a long time, Good. you really need to do something about it. If but, it fades away, but, like you said, but but, but, okay. but but this is the thing, though, bro. The Bible says, "Gird up the loin of your mind." Yes, you can't sit there and say, "Well." I'm gonna see if it diminish, and you just thinking about her all the time. You gonna have to, you gonna have to take your mind and decide what direction you're going. Mm -hmm. Too often, I feel like as men and people, we just let our minds go rampant in the strength of lust, I agree. and then we go go off, make our decisions out of that. Yes. You got it where it's yes. gonna go. Yes. You decide if this is gonna be a friendship or if this is gonna be something more. But you can't sit there and say I'm gonna let let my flesh decide. Of course, of course not. If I'm going to pursue this or not, yeah. this is gonna have to be actually one of those mature decisions. Yeah that you and God is going to have to navigate mm -hmm. your appetites. Yeah. In my my opinion. In no, no, I, I agree yeah. with you. But, you know, I, I like to add another thing, though, like the proximity of it. You know, that's the thing. Because, like, if he is in, in constant contact with her, like seeing her every other day or hanging out, like brother you know your feelings for her are just going to continue to to increase Possibly. like so so that that's the only thing that i'm saying is like you need to do something about it you know uh of course pray about it but if, yeah. if it's just this relationship is just like i'm hanging out with her every day like it's not gonna be good for you i, I don't I think. agree I, and i also i want to say this too sometimes we need time to process mm -hmm. um and not go off the first thing that hit us mm -hmm. sometimes you just need some time to process and let let the dust settle on exactly yeah. what you're seeing and what you're feeling yes and not just go off i've been seeing her attractive lately just sit, sit on that yes. sit yes. on yes. that and see what's what mm -hmm. you know you just automatically assume since they've been friends for since high school yeah yeah that obviously this is more than lust yeah that's my assumption too. Yeah. That, that was my assumption yeah but you're right so yeah. it might come in waves of lust it, it could and you don't want to very you know, easily act off of a hey a bro, moment of weakness let's just have a real moment how many of us at this table has made a decision off a momentary desire oh yeah plenty of times that's all i'm saying yes. don't do that <laughs> that's my my point brother mm -hmm. just don't do that and mess up something that's actually maybe a benefit to your life that's yes. all i'm saying we're gonna move on to the next question and our next question we're gonna call this one every day is hump day another one of our <laughs> anonymous viewers <laughs> okay <laughs> writes to us Wednesday. i think my husband has a problem we have sex about 14 times a week he wakes me up a lot Ooh. in the middle of the night. Okay. I know it's my wifely duties, but this is too much and draining. What mm. should I do? He's doing the math. It's twice a day, bro. Yeah, twice a day. Yeah. Twice a day. Oh, you, that's what you was doing? Yeah. yeah. He you, was doing the he fingers. Was, yeah. He was like okay. counting. You ran out of fingers? <laughs> I was carrying one. 
<laughs> maybe I carry too use many. Mine? Maybe I carry too many. Put up all yours. <laughs> Put yeah, mine up. <laughs> Help you out. No, but fourteen times. Fourteen times. So twice times? a day. Yeah, twice a day. Okay. Yeah. No, and then he's waking her up in the middle of the night. Right. Okay. How how old is this man? The, none of that. None of that is divulged yes. in this moment. Do it really matter? Is that excessive for you? That's a little too much, honestly. I so mean, even if I you got, can have that, you you wouldn't want that. Okay, so when I was, because I'm 34, about to be 35. Yeah, so right know? now, right right here I, and right now. Yeah, because, okay, so I'm starting a business. I'm doing all the things. Like, Forget all that. Yeah. If, if you too, can. If I could. Would you? If I had the time, because yeah. Because you would want to. 14 times a week. If I had the time, yes. You would want to. Yeah, why you not? Want. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. How about you? Um. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I maybe, maybe not consistently, you know, but at least once a day. Pretty, pretty close. close. Once a day, yeah. Once definitely. a day is kind. Of, uh, Fourteen times is a lot. That's, that's a, what I'm saying. That's like, excessive. Like, like I agree. I don't know. So I'm not saying that it's not. Yeah. Even though I agree. Okay. So I, if I had nothing to do, yes. But I'm saying like now. Even if I had nothing to do, that's just too much for I me. I mean, I would do it. Yeah. I mean, because to, to me, it's like anytime you eat steak every day. That often, it's just not. It's no longer tasty. Right. It, it loses that. I mean, the, the yeah, I agree. The the pockets of time of not doing it is going to add to yeah the, the thrill. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be more funner that way. Yeah. But but to each his own. I mean, this man might be an athlete. We don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Might be yes. a professional yes, athlete. Dippin', he went hard. Uh, maybe I heard that. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. Well, so maybe Scotty. his testosterone levels are just crazy. It may be. But how do we? How does she navigate this? I mean, she's she's been doing it. And she said it's draining and it's too much for her. But has, okay, well, has she communicated that with him? Again, I read you all the information <laughs> she sent. Okay, us. well, let me let me st- start with that. Like, okay. uh, one of the building blocks for marriage, and keep in mind, I'm not married, but I've heard this from a lot of people is communication. Okay, so communicate this to your husband. Say like, hey, honey. You know, I love you and I enjoy the times that we're together, but I'm just getting to the point that it's been draining on me. You know, I don't want you to feel rejected because as men, sometimes we might feel rejected when when our women don't want to. So just just clarify, like I'm not rejecting you. You know, because obviously she's putting out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But say like, hey, this is this is taking a little toll on me. Like, no. why is this happening? Can can we go to a doctor? Maybe your testosterone I'm levels are really <laughs> high. You know, like, this is not working for me right now. Can uh, we tone it down a little bit? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, what are you going to say? I don't think there's nothing wrong with the uh, conversation piece. I don't think yeah. he has to go to the doctor. No. I mean, I don't not at all. You want him to take estrogen pills? <laughs> <laughs> well, hold on. Like, no. It's just like to... to Kind of like pinpoint like where this is coming from. You well, know it doesn't I mean? matter. It's just that's how he's built. And you, yeah, you, you do, as okay. a man, you do need to practice self-control. That mm-hmm. is true. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And so, hey, can we cut it down to, you know, mm. about 10 times a week? You know, cut it down. Compromise. You know what? The com- you know what the compromise maybe I'm should be. I'm not saying I don't want to have sex. Right. Just, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the compromise because she, she said the word draining. So if you're getting woken up every night in the yeah. middle of the night, yeah, you're good. getting broken sleep. Yeah. So <laughs> so that's not helping. You know, so I would say maybe we can cut down the overnight things. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you only wake me up twice out the week. So yeah. the other five days I can sleep good. And then, yeah. and then maybe. Wake me up on the weekends. Then, yeah, something yeah. like that, boy. But, but, but we can still have a uh, sex you know what yeah. i mean just maybe we can control the overnight thing maybe yeah. that's the compromise yeah because that just seemed like a lot i mean imagine me waking up every night with that little tap, <laughs> 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 tap all right how do I mean, you know it's a tap though yeah hey, you're right you or might. maybe the tap is coming from somewhere else <laughs> you know, like, like you don't want her to feel like a skeet box either yeah, yeah, that's, true. yeah. 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 that's true Yes, that is you true. still want her to feel valued, and yes. you want you know or you want her to feel loved. I think yeah. if a, if my wife came to me and said it's excessive, I would have no <laughs> issues at all with yeah. you know cutting it down a little bit. You know? Yeah, because I care, and I wouldn't want her to feel any. That is true, man. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Compromise. Right. I mean, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, I think we gave you some sound advice. Uh, hopefully that works for you. We're moving on to our next anonymous viewer, and the, this question is: Mama said, "Move me in." Mama, Mama said, said, "Move me, me in." in. Mama said, move me in. 
Mama said, "Move me in." in. That's a song, bro. Yeah, yeah. It said Mama. Yeah. Mama said, "Knock." We it need out. to trademark that. Yeah. yeah it's good. And the anonymous viewer says, "My wife's mother has been battling illness in her body. It has come to a point where she can't live alone." My wife insists that they move that she moves in with us however me and my mother-in-law do not get along mm. how can i be a good husband and still protect my marriage well and, and this is cultural like yeah. so for us it'd be no problem moving the mother-in-law in yes of course as, as mexicans yes of right course. yeah would okay. you see an issue with that no right no okay. but okay so but this is the thing but, I want to they, but they don't get alone us. though let's put that dynamic. okay for us it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't, matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter but there are certain like rules that have to be set in place like you have to have a conversation with your wife and say look you know the relationship that i have with your mother mm. i understand that she's sick and i'm willing to have her in but we need to have a conversation all of us mm -hmm. and also love yeah. you need to talk to your mother mm, okay yeah. let's go over the ground rules yeah because no for real though like because she can only come out when i'm at work no i mean like i'm, I'm the king i'm the king of this house you are the queen and and your mom has to understand that she's no queen here no, okay and i'm not being disrespectful you know but she's coming to live with us i Ooh. think that those that conversation needs to be yeah, man, uh, that sounds good, bro, on paper, but <laughs> <laughs> or on a podcast. All right, all right, on a podcast because I'm saying I that mean, because she can say whatever, and then she gets in there, and what and you gonna do? The Draw dynamics back. have changed. Dynamics change, and guess what? She's in there now, so she's I definitely agree. not leaving. And your wife is gonna be on her side. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, oh, that's my mom. We can't kick her out, and and that's the reason. If if y'all have this 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 is my advice. Mm -hmm. If y'all have a if y'all have a huge argument after she moves in, and she and she never changes, would you be okay? If she never changes with her perspective towards you, and she lives in your house, would you be okay? And if the answer of that is no, I would not be okay. This I feel like would put pressure on my marriage. Uh, yeah, I yeah. would say don't even do it. Yeah, and that's, only that's you okay. can know that. Yes. Only you can know that. You know yeah. what I mean? Don't well, do it off potential of what she she may under you know I mean she may uh, change. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. Like I mean, me personally, I wouldn't be expecting her to change. Mm. But you know, but that's why I would have that conversation. And all, also, if I know that I am that my wife is going to be supportive, mm. that she knows her mother, mm -hmm. she knows her mother's proclivities. Okay, but she's still willing to 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 support me on this. And okay, I'm willing to give it a chance. But if I know that it's gonna be a one-sided thing, where I'm gonna have to argue with my wife because of her mother, like, then that's that's a different story, bro. That's, that's so. What would be option B? I mean, she has nowhere to go. She's my, my thing. Sounds is, like bro, she's crippled. To get her out that house, once she's in that house, yes. To get her out that house, bro, you're gonna need the jaws of life. She's in there, bro. Yes, I agree. She's in there. She's so, part of the family. She huh? is. So, I yeah. mean, whatever decision you're going to make, you have to make it before she gets in that house. Yes, yes. And this is definitely a cultural thing because I'll say this, man. I'm not coming home at my palace arguing with anyone. Of course Someone not. that's disrespectful. Of course someone, not. I, I'm not going to set my... I mean, the world is crazy enough. Yes. I'm not going to have war in my own house. I, uh, yeah. And if Amen. I feel like my mother-in-law has that potential where she can't let stuff go, and she may say whatever to get in the house, I wouldn't even open that door. And I would be honest with my wife about it. You know? So it would be a waste of your breath to sit down and actually have a conversation with your mother-in-law. I'm not going to say it was a waste of my breath, but I would. It, it would be knowing how this woman really is. Yeah. If she's the type of woman that I have seen flexibility in her personality, right. then I would, then I would sit down with her and talk to her on that mm -hmm. level if I could work with her. Yeah. But if she's one of those women that just is what she is, which some women is, especially when you get older, right. and she's Stop just, a, yeah, she's just Mr. Krabs, you know what I mean? She just, yeah, Miss Crabtree. She's going to do what she's going to do, yeah. and she's going to say what she's going to say. I can't do it, bro. I'm, yeah. I'm not doing war when I get home, man. Yes, I, yes. I don't, and I don't not you shouldn't have to. I'm oh, shit. No, of course not. So I mean, that only this gentleman can know exactly the way his mother-in-law is. Yeah. Um, because your peace is your peace gives you the ability for a couple things. Yeah. To to regenerate yourself in the presence of God, 
and give out of love. You yes. know what I mean? But if you come at home and you don't have that space to really just, you know, decompress and get to know God and, yeah. and this war there, bro, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, and this can drive a big wedge between you and your wife. I, that's the problem. So if that's yeah. the case, I would suggest maybe financially putting something up to kind of make sure she's being taken care of, you know, because we have to offer a a solution you have to yeah. that's her mother that's your wife's yeah. mother yeah. you know yeah. and so if you just say no and don't offer like an <laughs> option b that's going to yeah. definitely put a wedge between in your marriage as well absolutely yeah, yeah you're absolutely. Uh, you're in a tough place brother you is man but uh <laughs> but but make the decision now before she get in there don't do any testing and no, no, we'll see not. when she get in because it's nope. just gonna be rough yeah, yeah. I agree. and you definitely probably gonna have a lot of venom coming from your wife if you pull her out your crib when she in there oh. so that's gonna be rough so yeah. yeah you gotta you gotta you, you your best bet is to deal with it before she gets in and that's my take on it yeah all right next question we have another anonymous viewer that says and i'm gonna name this question i'm sorry i surrender it all our anonymous viewer says i'm a very submissive wife maybe too submissive my husband also make decisions without consulting me i feel like i have no voice how do i get my voice back without being disrespectful hmm. well there's no such thing as too submissive <laughs> all right <laughs> You never go wrong. Right. And I think because you are, as you say, too submissive, I don't think anything that you bring up or anything that you put an opinion in, I don't think that he's going to react negatively about it. Possibly. Hmm. If, if you're used to a woman just taking it every time without any feedback, without any insight, and all of a sudden she speaks up like, whoa, hold on, slow down now. Ain't, we ain't been doing that for yeah. the last seven years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. got an opinion? Where'd that come from? Yeah. You know? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm saying, but yeah. uh, but that's what I'm saying, because you've set a you set an atmosphere, a precedent. Yeah. 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 You know, you so did. now you you're like you change it. So I'm just saying, not that you shouldn't have a voice, but you just have to be mindful. Of that. I, th I so, think that instead of, of like just inputting your, your opinion, like you need to talk to your husband and say, like, hey, I feel like I have no voice in this marriage and I would like for you to, you know, get my input mm -hmm. uh, to talk to me before you make any decisions because we are married, you know, and I think that because if, if she starts just giving her opinion mm -hmm. out of nowhere, then, then she's going to get a reaction out of her husband. But if she sits him down and says like, hey, can we talk? And I think it's going to be different. It's going to put a different thought and and you know her husband's mind and and if he is a reasonable man mm -hmm. he should be able to to understand and like you know see i believe that conversation is crucial i'm gonna add to that conversation to give it some body i think i would come at the situation if i was her in the sense of baby do you believe god put me in your life hmm that That's I'm the good. wife for you. That's good. Obviously, he probably gonna say yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. And then you go in. So he put me in there for a reason, and I believe that we complement each other. And some of the decisions you make, I feel like I can complement that decision with some of the things God gave me. And I haven't said nothing. I put it on me. I haven't said nothing to my shame. But I feel like God wants me to speak up to add balance to your decision making. So yeah. I'm, I'm not being disrespectful, but I do want to give you insight so you can have a well-rounded counsel of God in, just, in, the, account, in, the, in the decisions you make. And yeah. so what I'm about to be doing, I'm just going to give you, I'm going to lay it at your feet what God's given me, but I need you to help me as well. Yes, I need absolutely. you to wait, uh, at least consult me so I can give you what God gave me. And yeah. then once you hear from me, then you can have the full spectrum and all these other options to make a sound decision for our family. And when you put it that way, you can't help if this man has a soul. But to you know what I mean? <laughs> you're gonna find out, right? Yeah. If yes, this man yes. has a soul. He can't help but say, "I hear you, baby. Absolutely. Yes. How can you deny Definitely somebody that humble and yes. insightful?" Yes. You know? I want to add to that a few things to that conversation. When you do have it with him, uh, pray about God softening his heart to receive everything that you're feeling. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, pray for the direction and the words that you're about to have with him. 
And also, any, if you want anything from a man, you stroke his ego first before yeah. you ask oh, him. Yes. You yes. Stroke his ego. Mm -hmm. Sound like some steak, potato salad, garlic bread, and some wine type the of vibe. The whole thing. Yes. You know, give him a passionate night mm -hmm. and then pillow talk. Uh, yeah. I, I see. I Maybe. See. <laughs> you know, something's been bothering me. <laughs> Right, you're butt naked in the bed with your husband. <laughs> right, and that's when you. Yes, that's when you, you got him, ladies. <laughs> I agree. You're right. I agree. Yes. <laughs> I can't believe I just gave that secret away, but, but there it is. Yep. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro. I, you can't help but say, "Okay, I got you. I got you." Mm -hmm. Especially after a great night like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, his heart is soft yeah. for the molding, bro. You, yeah. you, you said it perfectly. It's ready for the yes. planting. That it is. Yes. So take this man's advice. And we hope it bless you. I had to interrupt this video to share something that's breaking my heart. Guess what it is? 75% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. You're basically saying we're your side chick. Well, let's change that today. Go ahead and hit subscribe and make us your main. And while you're at it, turn on your bell notification so you never miss when we call. And you're already flirting with the channel. So let's smash that like button. Hey, I appreciate it. Now let's get back to it. Next we question. Got We're gonna name that. Whoop that kid, homie. Whoop that kid. Whoop that kid. All right, anonymous viewer says, I've been married for 10 years. My wife and I have been having arguments over me disciplining my 13 year old stepson. Oh, you whoop that kid. She acts like she doesn't want me to say anything to him mm. discipline wise. Oh. The problem is she is too soft on him. <sighs> I'm running out of options. How should I address this? Oh my God, man. This this hits home. Okay, talk to us. Uh, and if you go to our previous podcast, I'm not gonna say which one, but just watch them all. You're going to, to hear the story again. Like my mother, cause I have a stepdad. Okay, and, and one day I was overhearing a conversation that my, my stepdad was having with my mom and I was already older, you know, and he was saying like, if you would have allowed me to step in and correct him and discipline him, he wouldn't have gone down the path that he went. Mm. Mm. And I asked my mom, I was like, what does he mean by that? I thought that he was my dad. You know, like you thought he was actually doing everything yes. he wanted to do. Yes. So you was getting a watered down version of your pops. Yes. Your and then up. and then my mom, she's like, well, son, I told him that you were my son and that I could just correct you. Mm. Bro, that really pissed me off. Really? Why? Yes. Why? Explain why. Because, okay. Because you feel cheated? Yes. And then also, like, we are live. This man didn't have to accept you with a son mm. okay yeah he decided to accept us because we came as a package mm -hmm. he decided to accept us he gave us a roof mm. he had you as a stay-home mom mm -hmm. okay he was providing for us financially um, physically spiritually like the best that he could and you decided to limit him Mm -hmm. on on how he should correct me mm. like that's you yeah. that's bogus that's yeah. like that's really unfair like what are you doing and you know what's funny when what you're saying so often women trust men with their own body they trust men with money they trust men with a lot of things but mm -hmm. they don't want to trust them with their kids you willing to marry a man that you don't trust their insight and wisdom with your kids mm -hmm. why would you even marry someone like that yes. if you really don't trust them yes you get what i'm saying and then and then another thing too is i've seen this scenario play out in multiple multiple times because my father and my real father mm -hmm. in his previous marriage when i came to live with him to chicago he married a woman who has two children mm -hmm. okay and it was the same thing Mm. He, we would have conversations and my dad was like, well, you know, she told me, my wife told me that I couldn't correct them in the way that I saw fit. And, and, and that drove a wedge between him. I mean, they're divorced now, you know, but, but my dad, my real father, he felt like diminished, yeah. Yeah. you know, like, yeah. okay, well, I am providing for this household yet. I don't have the authority to correct the children. Like, so you want me to take on their responsibility? Absolutely. But you're not uh, under my house. Yeah, but you, but but you don't think that I have authority when you have responsibility. 
there comes a certain level of authority. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. And so, so yeah, this, this is, uh, this is something that hits home, honestly. Understandable, man. Understandable. It's, it's disrespectful. Yes. You know, to place all that responsibility and him taking you in and taking care of you and your son and then to have the audacity to say something to him if the child is in the wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now there's a difference if you're with, you know, somebody that treats you like crap, mm -hmm. has a drinking problem. Yeah. He comes home, he's got his day go on, he's mm -hmm. had a few Red Bulls and he wants to punch on something. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's, that's totally that's different. That's abuse. extreme. Yeah. That's, that's abuse. abuse. That's abuse. Mm -hmm. but, but if your kid is in the wrong and he's trying to correct him yeah. and make him a better man, yeah. you know, but you're taking his this man's money, mm -hmm. you're laying under his roof, and you have the audacity to say something, that that would really make me second guess even continuing the relationship. Yes. And you're going to hinder the relationship between that stepfather and that boy. Yes. And the reason being is because the only thing that a man's going to do when he can't really voice himself is back up. Back off. Yes. And, that's and, and, and just say, hey, that's mm -hmm. your son. It is what it is. Don't 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 call me for no uh, right. bail money if he get locked up. You kind of just back off yes. all together because you see the man he's becoming and yes. you don't like him. Yes. And there's so much you want to say to him, you but can. you ain't got no voice. Yes, and so you 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 automatically mm -hmm. start oh, to put a wedge between that child and that man as well. Yes, yeah. Yeah. and that's that's how I, I feel. Like I have a good relationship with my stepfather. Mm -hmm. You know, and now. Yeah, and thank God, you know, that my dad and, and him, they're still together. My mom, I'm sorry, my mom and him, they're still together. Um, but I now that I look back in time, I could see, you know, how he felt, like, restricted, you mm -hmm. know, on certain things. Because, like, he taught me how to work, honestly. He taught me how to how to be responsible in that regard. But when it came to, like, certain values, like he was very quiet about it like he and, and and you know even one time i asked him like he he saw like that i was hanging out with a whole bunch of gangsters i was a gangster myself and one day he talked to me hmm. you know but even like his talk towards me was very watered down tamed yeah yeah he didn't want to step yeah. on no toes yeah and, and it sounded know, weak and then you didn't receive it uh, yeah i did yeah. not i did not and, and 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 i you know now that i that i think about it i'm like man that's honestly that affected me mm -hmm. you know were you ever disrespectful to him because men no. need we need respect no i right. was never like i respected that man i still respect him a lot i okay. never you know there was one occasion where we had a confrontation but that was my fault i was very disrespectful towards my mom mm -hmm. and and He's then yeah. yeah then he was like he he uh, he told my mom i don't care what you say now mm -hmm. what did she say no, nothing. Okay. I mean, like, you know, because she saw the level of disrespect that I gave her. Right. Mm -hmm. And he put me in my place, mm. you know, and I was like, oh, <laughs> no, for real. Right, you're right. But sometimes, like, you need sometimes you a, need young, a young man needs that. Yeah. Not sometimes, all the time okay. a yes. young man needs all that. Yes, I what agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 The yeah. ride will drive it out of it. And some reason, I think women feel like uh, stepfathers are not going to see them as their own kids and that they're going to have an extra level of wrath and no, a lack of no, understanding. No. And then, that, but that's what they feel, though. Yes. They feel like you're, you're going to beat up on them versus love on them because they're, my, not, they're my, not your child. My stepfather, you know? like, even my mom, you know, overhears conversations when, when he has with other men. He has always included me as his son mm. in his conversations. Like, I have three children. You know, including me. Right. So, right. like, the level of, like, the way that that man received me, he did it, like, wholeheartedly, man. Yeah. So, I would say this one last thing. Sure. Mothers tend to have an unhealthy bond with, with their children, with their sons in particular. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? So, maybe step back, take that in consideration, you know, and kind of draw the line, like, is this abuse or is he meaning well, you know, mm -hmm. and put aside your emotions, that unhealthy yeah. bond. <laughs> and you just see it for what it is. You know, he's trying to make him a better man. Yes. He is. And, and, and there's no way possible, women, that you can make a man a man without being tough on him on some level. Because uh, this yeah. world is tough. And if you raise him to be soft, you're going to raise him to be emotional. And emotions are always shifting yes. in the wind based off their circumstances. A solid yeah. man, yeah. a solid man can take a little verbal abuse. 
<laughs> I ain't gonna say verbal abuse, a little bit of tough love, yes. and they their skin is thicker because they know where it's coming from. I'm trying to make you better. I'm yes. not trying to make you feel good. Definitely not. And that's the difference. A mother is always trying to make a child feel good. A father is always trying to mold them into what they should be. And, and to mold, it takes pain because you're chiseling away yes. at the parts that are extra and that's keeping you from being a person you are. One last thing. Emotional men are more dangerous than Absolutely. stable men. Absolutely. You know, so so if, if you... If you don't want your son, your children, you know, especially males, mm -hmm. to be dangerous, you know, they need that toughness so that they can develop that self-control. Mm -hmm. And resilience. Yeah. And resilience. And the, and the look past, I don't believe you just said that to me. Like, you te teach a child to say, hear what I'm saying and not how I'm saying. Like a man. Right. A man a man can hear, like, like we have tough love situations. Yes, yes. And when you have them tough love situations, you got to say, but is he telling the truth? Yes. You know what I mean? And he's being this way because he's trying to get through to me. And when a man's telling you the truth, you gotta you gotta take that in. But if you don't let a child learn that from a young age, he's easily offended, and nobody can't tell him nothing. He mm -hmm. getting his feelings mm -hmm. when you try to tell him the truth. Yes. Hey, I'm sorry, brother. We praying for you, man. Yes. We hope she hears this particular message. Yes. Go ahead and put it on for yeah, her. For she real. ain't got to know for that real. you sent it to her because you sent in this question. But we, we got much passion about this because we've all seen this in some form of fashion. Yeah. Hey, we love y'all. Let's go on to the next question. And the next question, again, is one of our anonymous viewers. And we're going to name this question, Payday Pray. My The viewer says, my wife's ex offered her a very lucrative job. It's more money than she ever's made before. Am I wrong for asking her to pass on this opportunity? No, not at all. Not more, at all. more money than she ever had before. Coming into your household. You can't you, put a price on my wife. I'm sorry. You can't put a price on your wife. So you feel like this is him sliding a paycheck over to get back in her life? Come on. Come on, are you maybe, We're maybe, men. maybe, maybe not. But no, no, it, it, it definitely is. Well, I'm gonna say, I mean, you don't know. Yeah, you, I do know. Remember, I said men are simple. Oh, we're yes, simple but maybe she has a skill that yeah, that, that, he could should, that, yes. no, that he could utilize in his business to cause his business to thrive. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna sure. say it like yeah. this: if if uh, my baby mother was, you know, like had certain skills and was a reasonable woman, <laughs> right? And I had, you know. Uh, I could use her. I probably would bless her. Hmm? You know, I would say, look, because I know that that's going to benefit my daughter. That's also going to benefit me in the sense that that's going to give me peace. You know, I know she's going to have a stable job. And believe me, it's going to benefit everyone here. Hmm. OK. However, I could see it from from if, if she was to be married, I could see it from his point of view. Like, hey, man. You know, why are you like providing this opportunity, opportunity mm -hmm. to my wife? I would feel some type of way if my wife had an ex and came to me. I, I do see both sides, honestly. Mm -hmm. I would feel some type of way. And I probably would tell her, I don't want you to take that job. Although I do understand that other side that you said you're trying to, you know, benefit not only your daughter, but everybody. I, I yes. still, it's understandable, but it's still no. Absolutely. So I'm gonna say this, man. This is gonna be contingent on the type of relationship I have with this woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I know my woman and she's down, and I know her character, and she's about team, us, our team. If I know that about her, and I'm I'm definitive on that, bro, go get that money, bring that back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's me. No. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. but, you know, but if I know also. My wife can be easily influenced. If I know I've seen men flirt when I went to the bathroom and and, <laughs> and, and she's smiling and key keying, if I'm seeing key keying type of attitude, nah, 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 nah. that ain't gonna work. <laughs> yes. That ain't gonna work. So this is gonna be contingent yes. oh, on the type of girl I got and the yes. character she yeah, has. If she's bro. key he he and you probably should marry her anyway. <laughs> no, but, I mean, but I mean, but, uh, like, but some women, let's say like women, women, women yeah, yeah, you just you didn't know you already yeah. in it and she yeah. key keying and yes. you can't divorce her now. Yes. And there's some women that just easily, they can be easily flattered. Yes. Worse. Some women can be that way. And it yes. ain't nothing wrong with it. I mean, yes. it is what it is. You can just Even if your uh, woman is solid, there are going to be moments of weaknesses. There are going to be moments of, you know, there are going to be ups and downs in your marriages. And 
at any time she could look at him in a different light. That could happen. That can. But yeah. so that can happen on any job. She yeah, but I'm gonna lessen the odds. I mean, I'm not I, I could see your point. Lessen the you know, because yeah. there there was that emotional bond with that ex, possibly. possibly. And and and. And maybe he's grown. Maybe he's matured. He's a different man now. Yes. And now she's finding herself attractive. Yeah. And sometimes the, the, the friction is less when it comes to, you know, right. opening up that door again. Like there is this saying in, in Spanish that where there was a fire, there are some residue of hot embers. Mm. Meaning I agree. like, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Then, so my question is this. For both of y'all, no matter what the circumstance is, this is—I know you said it's a no for you. It's a no for you too, no matter what the circumstance is. I, I would just say no, man. You say no, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if my wife got some character, and I trust that character, go get the bag. Go get respectable. The bag. Yeah, respectable. Go get that bag. I mean, if you know who you have, I know who then, I have. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I'm go get the yeah, bag, respectable. bro. Yeah, because uh, she might not see you as a provider. You know, because it's coming from him that he's changed his opportunity has changed our life again, and now we owe him a certain amount of respect. like. No, nah, that's, that's a character. And thing. it's not, that, and it's not that I'm insecure, but we have we have something dope. We have something awesome, and I I don't want to let you know anything jeopardize that. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Right. I see your point, man. I, I see your point. I, I, but you gotta know who you're dealing with. Yeah, it goes back to that point, man. There are some solid. Chicks that is true. out here, that bro. is true. You can't that deny that. Yeah, that yeah. don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Yeah. I'm not gonna say every woman's that way, but there are some solid women out here yes. where you know I got I got me a real one, so I ain't yes. even worried about it. Yes. You know what I mean? It's but great. but but I understand this is gonna be one of those things you gotta know your own piece, you gotta know your girl, and yeah. you gotta know what she can handle. If yeah. you feel like she's not over this guy, if you feel like that she is key kin when people <laughs> flirt with her, hey bro, the answer yes. is it's a no-go. But if you yes. feel like she's solid, like really solid, and I, I, when I say solid, I'm talking about solid in Christ. Yeah, 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 of course. Solid in character. Yes. And I say that because when you're solid in Christ, you don't do things for your husband. That is true. You do them for God. Yes. And, and that type of attitude will birth a faithfulness that I can yes. rock with. Yes, definitely. Know? definitely. So, but if it's I about know. me, and you, you're doing it for me. And guess what? I'm going through a hard season. Right. Yeah. Talking out the side of my neck. Yes. Then you're going to be more likely to do something with that guy because I'm off my square. I agree. So, but yeah, that's that's it. That's all our questions we have for this episode of Pillow Talk. I hope our advice blessed you guys. If you want us to answer your question, please leave your comments in the comment section or your questions in the comment section. If you like to remain anonymous, you can send them in to what the church won't say at yahoo.com. And every time you tune in, you don't have to worry about us. We're going to be here to say what, what the, the church, church won't say. say. What's up, everybody? Welcome to what the church won't say where we have difficult conversations at the foot of the cross. And today's conversation is a beautiful conversation with our viewers. We are being glad to see you here. I'm not talking about it. How are you? Thank you. Tongues, Nick? Do that again now. Simon. Okay, great.